according to the old saying, a friend in need is a friend, a friend indeed. indeed. But it turns out there are certain types of friends that we all need to feel happy. That's right, George. You're here to tell us more relationships expert, John Aiken. John, you say they're basically, as we welcome you to the show, they're basically five types of friends, starting with the childhood friend. That's right. They're really good because they know you from way back. So they can keep you real and grounded and they can remind you of the person that you are. Okay. And... You only really need one of those, or is it okay to have several? It's certainly good to have several. You know, it's, it, it's hard to create a large network of friends. If you've got a couple of really good close ones, then they're the ones you need to foster. What about the workout friend? Well, Cam, sometimes uh, we struggle to get the motivation up to, or maybe not for you, but for no, me, no, certainly, with getting into the gym or going for that run can be difficult. So a workout friend keeps you honest and could be the glue to basically keep you fit. Yep. Number three, you talk about the spiritual friend. Tell us more about yes. that. Yes, well, it builds resilience to be involved in some type of spiritual type of community. And so uh, when you're talking about a, a, some sort of church or temple or a community organisation, a yoga centre, something like that, it also gets you thinking outside of yourself as well. Okay, so these are all friends generally that you've accumulated early on in life. What, what about developing new friends? New friends are great because they get you to essentially experience things for the first time, get you out of your rut, look at things in a different way. So it can be quite refreshing to have a new friend. And you say um, don't necessarily be stuck on just having friends your own age. It's, it's not a bad thing to have younger friends. Yeah, I mean, if you've got a younger friend, you can mentor them. Uh, and, and it's actually quite, uh, quite good to be able to feel as though you're contributing to their development and, and helping them along. So that can be quite a nurturing feeling for you. So uh, a friend who's, who's uh, younger and basically looking at things for the first time, you can help them through. It's also good to have uh, communication going both ways. Is it, is it possible that one person could have several of these attributes or do you really believe ideally these are five different people? It'd be good to have a friend that has all five, um, but uh, you but might I mean, be you asking... you could have a childhood friend, for example, who gives you that spiritual nourishment as well. Yeah, absolutely. I, there's no reason why they can't uh, have a combination of those. But I think, you know, in 2010, when you're looking to evaluate where you're at with your friendships, these are good, uh, a good five types of friends to try and surround yourself with. Do you suggest cull the rest? <laughs> I'm, I'm a it's big fan brutal. of getting rid of the, the friends that don't work for you. If really? they're not ready to celebrate you, ah. if they're not there for, for times of crisis or it doesn't work both ways, get rid of them. Cross Clean them the off closet the Christmas card. What is the old saying that uh, a person can, consi can consider themselves lucky if they die knowing that they had as many true friends as uh, fingers on your hand or something yeah, like that? Yeah, that's right. I mean, yeah. five. I mean, it, it's good to have a close group of friends that really do celebrate you, but are also there. You don't want those friendships where you're always going to them and it's only working one way. Mm. All right. Okay, interesting. Yep. Thank Something you. to think about. Thought-provoking. Might go out there and find Thank a new you, friend today, Georgie. <laughs> yeah, why not? Just to freshen things up. <laughs>